just a quick look at initial work on setting up some text headers to reorganize my modules for summer with text headers. So I'm going to simply add a text header, drag that into place, go over here, add another text header. Be, I'll be dragging that into place as well. This will be a rearrangement from my spring term, which had each week was its own unit. But the compressed summer, I think it'll make more sense just to simply or reorganize around weeks and then put in these text headers. So text headers are just an option on this menu up here. And I can put in text headers. And I'll go back and start to reorganize material. It remembers your last setting up at the top. So you just simply can add that item, add that item, and I'll get these guys organized. Those will be down there. Tuesday won't be there anyway. In fact, on Tuesday, it'll be density of soap. I think that laboratory's over here. So I've got to bring some text support up there. And that's right, just drag and drop, drag and drop, and start to organize this. Uh, there'll be a quiz I need to set up for Friday, um, quiz test, test in the summer. So that will be on Friday. And then I can, as you can see, I can indent underneath these to make things, clean things up and make them look a little better. Uh, that's a textbook that will be the lab. These dates are wrong and I'll need to edit them. Uh, I'll be swinging those around. I've been adding to my videos a little play icon to try to provide more visual clues. But that's the sort of thing doing at term start lot of decisions to be made about what gets included what gets tossed now they're not published so I got to publish them anything that's not published um, you have to publish down here I have to publish that one also the whole course is not published at this point uh, so but when I'm all done with what I want to get ready then I'll publish the course so for now I can just publish everything at the sub level down here publishes you can unpublish a whole module uh, the items inside the module, if published, will still be visible from the other menus on the left. But that's just a bit of, you know, setting up modules, putting stuff together, organizing the course. Lots of dates to be changed in here. Uh, they'll be updated. I've made some different decisions about where dates should go and how they should be handled. But on these uh, external URLs, these YouTube videos, the uh, I generally tend to put the date up here. And so once I figure out what date it goes on, I'll edit these to have the date so the student knows what date to watch that particular video. There's no way to, to add a date. This will be an assignment. It will have a date down below it when, the, when it's uh, all set and ready to go. Uh, that sort of structure can be seen in, uh, in uh, one of my other courses here, my 150 course. You can see I've got, uh, well, the date's here at the end of videos that they should watch on the day that they should watch that video. Some don't have dates because they're optional videos. So again, that's a bit of you know, how you might want to organize. This one's organized by chapters. Um, that's a structure I've continued to use inside statistics. But over in physical science, I've been using, uh, I'm going to use this summer, a weekly structure. And then I can add in the days to help the students stay on track for where they should be. I'll probably tag in a date here uh, because that'll help with the reference as they get farther along and they lose track of what week they're in. So that'll be Monday 31 May. Uh, and then there's some introductory stuff at the top. That's all I have for this particular video. Thanks for watching.